Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. Fortune Island is officially here and features 10 different treasure chests to go and find, which you'll find 10 million credits in and three very cool cars. The Lamborghini Aventador J, the Celine S5S Raptor, as well as the Koenigsegg CC8S. If you've been wondering how to get any of those cars, this video is going to show you how to do it, as well as get 10 million credits, which is just awesome. Huge thank you goes out to Jack for filming this from the AR-12 crew. His link will be down below if you want to give him a follow. That would be awesome. So, let's jump into this. This is how you get all the chests from number 1 to number 10. So they all start up exactly like this. You'll be given a riddle which requires you to do between 2 to 3 things. One of those things you need to get in a certain car. So for this first one, you need this Dodge Ram TRX. Then, you need to head over to the Festival Apex uh, Speed Zone and set a score. That's all you need to do for this first particular one. You don't have to achieve a certain star or anything like that, but when we get to some future ones, you will need to do that. Then, once you've done your task, it'll show a picture of, the, of where the chest is and give you a little circle. I've decided to go in here, with the help of Jack again, to go and show you exactly where it is on the map, so you don't need to waste your time looking at that little red circle and trying to figure out where it is. It's actually on the docks right over here in this doorway. There you go, you've won a million credits already. That's chest number one already completed. This is chest number two. You need to go up to the needle climb and go in an Italian 458, which is obviously the Ferrari 458. The needle climb is actually the very, very cool drift road, which I'm sure you guys have seen already. So. Go drift your way up in the Ferrari 458, you should be warned, it's kind of hard to drift because it is a rear-wheel drive mid-engine car, so you might have some trouble with it, but you don't need to set any particular score for this one either. Once you get to the top, you have solved the riddle, and you will be shown a picture of where this zone is. This one is actually right on the side of the cliff. If you just uh, fast travel to the side of the mountain, you might have seen this in my Let's Play yesterday, I just accidentally fast traveled here. It's right on the side of a massive cliff, and if you take that one out, you win a million credits and the Lamborghini Urus from 2019. Let's move on to chest number three. This one can be confusing a lot of people because you need to take a 65 wild horse to the Vikings Bay uh, Trailblazer Zone. That 65 wild horse is this thing, the 1965 Ford Mustang. Now, for this particular zone, you don't need to achieve any sort of stars. Um, again, you just sort of need to do it. You can go and download a tune like Jack did here, uh, which you can do, but I did it a completely bone stock uh, Ford Mustang as well, and that works just fine. Anyways, once you get through in your Ford Mustang, you will have solved the riddle, and you'll be given this location, which again actually gave me a lot, a lot of trouble because it's all the way on the side of this huge, huge mountain, which you can, in fact, go and climb. It's actually all the way on the top on this snowy patch. So you probably want to take something with all-wheel drive, maybe something lifted up, an SUV or a truck or something. And if you take that one out, you get a million credits. This fourth one actually confused me quite a bit again because it says these buildings stood tall and you need to jump over them. The, the danger sign that you need to go and hit is called Felum's Ruin or something along those lines. And you need to take a three-wheeled Morgan. I found the riddle didn't actually give you any hints as to what you needed to do. So uh, just know you have to go over this zone in the three-wheeled Morgan and just, just make sure you don't do a front flip when you're doing it. When you land it correctly, you will have solved the zone and you can go and find your treasure chest, which is actually over in the swamps down next to like the fallen over church type of thing. It's actually right next to the two major intersections. Um, it's right next to the two big ones. So if you come next to those, just knock down the wall and you'll see it just sitting there in the middle of nowhere, just in, just in, the, uh, just in the swamp, which is pretty cool. Take that down, you win a million credits. Now we're gonna start unlocking a lot of these cars. This one's actually very cool. You have to go do the Lady of the Lake speed trap so this is just a speed speed trap one but for this one you actually need to achieve three stars in an audi r8 you can choose either of the audi r8s i believe don't quote me on that we just went for the faster one and it worked just fine this is the brand new audi r8 feel free to download a tune because you do need to achieve three stars so go through as quickly as possible you have solved the riddle, and then you can go and find this very, very cool chest. This one's actually in a very weird location because it's all the way 
at the very, very north of the map. You'll find this right over the thing that says Skildar Head. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's actually a huge open area, which makes it pretty tough to go and look around, but it's all the way next to these rocks. You'll just find it sitting there all by itself when you go past like the, what do you call them? Like the rock stacks, they're right there. You win a million credits and will, and you also get, excuse me, the Koenigsegg CC8S. I know there's been a lot of questions about how you unlock these cool cars. Well, you have to go and find the chests. Um, this next one, chest number six, is actually really cool and it's actually probably my favorite riddle because, well, it rhymes. You need to take a Willy's Jeep to the Will O something speed zone. Go through and set the fastest speed possible. Again, you don't need to set any sort of speed zone requirement. Just go through as quickly as possible and you'll get this riddle solved. It's actually really cool. I like this one. Make sure you're in a Willy's Jeep and then, just like that, you're done. You've solved the riddle and we'll go and find this one. This one's actually an interesting one as well because this one's all the way again to the side of the map. All the way as far east as you can go. So just follow the coastline all the way down and at the very tippy tip top, of the side of the map, you will find your chest hiding there with a million credits inside of it. It's actually pretty cool. Let's move on to number seven. This 80s Lambo was built for dirt, blazed through the forest without getting hurt. I like this one as well. It's actually pretty cool. For this one, you need to take the Lamborghini Slam Tank, which is also known as the Lamborghini LM002, through the Trailblazer Speed or Trailblazer PR stunt. There's, I'm still getting used to them. Just rip it through the forest as quickly as possible. Again, you don't need to achieve any certain speed here. Just go through it. You can knock the trees and do whatever. Once you get there, you have done this riddle and solved it. And then you can go swim in the ocean too. Fun fact, uh, when you're driving around Fortune Island, you can actually drive through a lot of the water, which is pretty cool. I, I found that out yesterday. Anyways, this one is actually right behind. You can see the old, old thingy forest. Um, right behind that hairpin in there, it's actually right there. So if you go through the forest, you look around in there, it's probably one of the hardest uh, chests to go and find. So there you go. That's where you can find that one. This one is you need to take a Swedish knight through the lakeside speed zone. The Swedish knight we're talking about is the Volvo Iron Knight. Again, no real requirement. Just go through. Uh, this one, you actually have to go off-road a lot, so you probably won't set a very good speed in a what is essentially a semi-truck on steroids. You go through the speed zone, and you found number eight. This one is also very, very difficult to find. This, this chest, although it looks like it's just sitting there, it's actually inside this cave. So you head inside this cave, go to the north-hand side of the cave wall, and then you'll see, like, these wrecked ships. If you go behind those wrecked ships, you will see that the chest is actually underneath part of one of the broken ships. Knock into that one, you get a million credits, and I believe you also get, there it is, my favorite car in the entire expansion, the Celine S5S Raptor. That thing is super cool, and I highly suggest you get that one. We've only got two left. Korea surprised us with a performance car. That performance car is the Kia Stinger. Go through this speed trap at the very top of the map. It's just a speed trap. You need to actually go through this one pretty quickly as well. Again, I believe you need to get three stars, so you probably want to get yourself a tune for this Kia Stinger. This chest all the way down to the southernmost point of the map. Fun fact, you can drive onto these little islands. It's on the biggest island all the way down in the middle of the map, and then you will find your chest found right in the middle of that very big island. And now, let's move it on to the final one, chest number 10. The horse shines like a star, jump through it in, uh, in, uh, in a classic muscle car. So, you can take any classic muscle car you like. We've already been using this Ford Mustang, so why don't we get our money's worth and use it again? We've already got a tune for it, we might as well. Now, this zone is actually a little bit difficult to go and do. You might find yourself running through and doing exactly what Jack did here. He went through with so much speed, he actually flew off the island that he jumped onto. So, just know when you're going up and trying to do this danger sign, hook a hard left and you don't actually need to go through with that much speed. You'll land, you will solve the riddle, and then you will get the location for your last and final chest, which is all the way at the southern part of the castle, down at the bottom of the map. You will notice that it's actually in the lake, however, it's not actually in the lake. It's on a little island 
that island you can't actually drive up onto you need to take a jump so take something fast take this jump on the side of the map jump onto that island and you will find the chest hidden upon this island it's very very cool and then once you knock into this chest you'll get a million credits and the lamborghini aventador j and that's it just like that you have discovered all 10 chests in fortune island you've got yourself 10 million credits as well as four very cool cars. Well, three really cool cars and, and a Lamborghini Urus. It's still pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Huge thank you again to Jack for recording this entire video. His link will be down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys then. Bye!